Welcome to my humble abode. Get it? Like a humble abode, but it's my bed. That's not funny. I have these. I got this like as a gift joke to a family member a long time ago. These uh nipple candies, and they regifted it to me, and I was like, you know what? I think it's like really um uh a great staple to all the weird shit on my walls. So anyway, so. I'm going to talk about a podcast. Um, I actually listen to a, a podcast every single day. I listen to fiction ones because I'm not, like, big into reading. I mean, I'm trying to read a book right now. I'm called The Glass Castle. Um, so, anyway, this is called Impact Winter. It is a Audible original, um, and it is a vampire um, horror. Um, it's more action than horror. I would actually go, off, go out on a limb and say, you know, um, it's definitely got, like, kind of like a Game of thrones you kind of vibe. Um, it is... Um, there's two seasons now. I've actually been listening since the first one, which was like a year and a half ago. And then they came up with the second one, um, just dropped it. And so I listened to it. This is about a, um, society where a comet hits the earth and it covers like the clouds and it becomes like an infinite winter. Not sure how that happens. doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Every meteor movie that I've seen, people just croak and then like there's too much sun. So I really don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to question it. And it's about these two sisters who are at this castle. Now, take note, this is actually in the future. So it's kind of an odd, like, in my mind, I'm imagining them in, like, old-timey garb, like, medieval garb, even though they're in modern-day garb, if not future-day garb. But they're at, a, like, a medieval castle. And it's it's hard to explain. And they're using medieval things, but also, like, cars. It's cool. I mean, it's kind of a cool concept. It's just kind of hard because you have to use your imagination when listening to a podcast. I close my eyes when I listen to one so I can imagine it in my head. Also can't multitask for shit. Um... And so it'll be interesting to see what other people would kind of think about what the world looks like. Because I imagine I'm in medieval garb, which I think was just kind of fun. I don't know why. Like, um, but then I occasionally get reminded that it's in the present day. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so these two sisters, um, and they are holed up, um, you know, trying to fend off, like, you know, any vampires in the outside world. Um, and of course, you know, as a story goes, that isn't uh, what happens at a mysterious person comes into the castle and things kind of escalate from there. Um, I don't want to go too far into it, but you know, there's prophecies, there's all these cool things, there's battles, there's, um, a big baddie, um, there's romance. It really does hit all, and I'm talking about season one. How about I talk about season one? That's season one. You really hit a, um, like everything you need to do for what I consider fantasy and like, I guess horror, um, and just a story in general that's action. Um, so it, it, it's interesting. The characters are really cool. Um, it doesn't lean so far into, like, uh, they record, you know, record conversations. They record things in order to make it seem, like, logical that we would be hearing somebody say something. Um, I have a hard time with that. Like, I, I, I figure, like, you know, you don't have to have a character record everything for me to believe that I can listen to it right now. Um, like, kind of found footagey. Um, and I think it kind of dips in and out of that and that's okay. I think a lot of uh, podcasts I've listened to think you have to have that in order for the listener to feel like they are in the same to something that's real. Um, I'm sorry, it's vampires. Um, I'm not saying vampires don't exist, but I've never seen one. And every time someone bites me on the neck, uh, I just stay me and it sucks. Um, I want to be immortal. I don't know if I want to be immortal. If I was immortal, like, would I be able to grow taller? Could I like add spine to my spine? Hmm. Like, if I if I can't die, and I just take my spine apart, and I put in somebody else's spine, like, in a stretch, and probably not comfortable, but, like, would I be able to be taller? Hmm. I will ask a scientist. Um, so anyway, second season, um, picks up from the first, obviously. Um, and a lot happened in the first season. The second one, I do feel like was slower. Um, and that's not a bad thing, necessarily. It was, I... It's like a bridge season. Have you ever seen those sort of things where you're like, yeah, this is leading up to something bigger, a bigger season. Um, kind of like season seven of Game of Thrones, I suppose. Let's not talk about eight. We don't talk about eight. If you talk about eight, I will throw up. Um, it kind of reminded me of that. And although part of me didn't like that, the other part of me thinks we needed it. And I'm grateful that it was a thing. Because even though not as much in theory happened... It was so well composed and put together, like, narratively. Like, I worked in book publishing for so long as an editor. And just like, to understand that this person is a writer. This person could have put this as a novel and it would have flowed so well. So it really does everything needed. Now, you could argue that could have been done in half the time, make the second half more action-packed and really hit things. 
Um, I don't regret listening to the second season, of course, because I do think the third is going to be really, 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 really good. Um, like a real like butting of heads, like two forces coming together. I think it could end in a way where it's a three season show and doesn't have to go any further, which I think is nice. I think it's setting itself up for something that is going to be impactful um, and has gotten you close enough to the characters to care. Um, now I will say voice acting to a degree sometimes bothered me. Like one of the characters, um, <laughs> his name is Rook and I do not like this guy only because he sounds, have you ever seen like that, uh, that, that character in, um, cartoons like, blah, 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 like that, blah, blah. he has like long ears. He's got floppy ears. It's not Eeyore. He sounds like that, but with some deeper, like kind of gruff voice. It is stupid. It is so dumb. If I can find the person, the tag, who does that voice, I will. Because if he comes back the third season, he needs to not do that. It's horrible. It's god-awful. Like, every scene he was in there, I was like, die, 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 plot twist, die, please. Um, also, I just had a mouth guard my dog chewed on. And I just got a notification that they're going to send me a free one. My dog chewed on both. God, this is what I get for clenching my teeth at night. Yeah, they're going to give me one. That's so cool. I should probably not film on my phone because I just see all these messages pop up. Um, mouth guard people like me. I'm popular. So it's fun. Um, and I think like the main lady sometimes sounds like she's trying to seduce you when she's like in her head, like kind of near. How about this? She's um, expositioning. Maybe not the exact word. Um, she does kind of sound like she's a bit in heat. Um, but besides that, you know, it's good. The daughters, or I mean, there's both daughters. Um, the uh, younger sister is really great at it. Um, and it does have sound effects too. So like some, I'm listening to one called K63 right now, which I will make a review on. Um, and this one actually like, you know, creates like a audio of what's going on. Like crunch, 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 slice, 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 dice, dice, dice. Whereas K63 does not. There's pros and cons to each. In this case, since it was cinematic, it was really good. Because here's the thing. This could have been a book. Again, I will say this. It could have been a book. It could have been any medium. And so by adding those other elements, it really did make it cinematic. I think that's absolutely necessary. So I highly recommend it. Impact Winter. It's on Spotify. I think it's on Audible as well. But Spotify is free. Apparently the second season's like surround sound. I don't use headphones, and so, oh, the nipples, nipples, um, boop, boop, um, so I guess you could do that if you want to, um, that's really good, I'll, I might backlog, you know, review some podcasts I've listened to, um, there's so many good ones out there, and there's also so many terrible ones, and I finish them all, so, like, I, I go through, go through them all, and, um, yeah vampires. I grew on down my teeth so I could never be a vampire. Hmm, that's okay. That's alright. Then you get to see my teeth. 